everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly makeup slash beauty favorites. I have quite a few. I am super excited to share with you what I've been loving this past month. It has been a really shopperific month for me. I have come across a lot of amazing products. Um, it was actually really hard to whittle down what it is that I've liked and have been using a lot of because I've been using a lot of everything. Uh, but anyway, if you are interested in what my monthly beauty favorites are, then just keep on watching. So before I jump into my favorites, I just want to mention that I am wearing most of them and I uh, taped a video uh, tutorial on this look, which is either up already or will be up soon. In any case, keep an eye out for it if you do like this look. All right, let's jump into the favorites. My favorite, absolute favorite primer for this month, and I've been using it a lot, and I've liked it, I think just more and more the more I use it, is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. For me, it kind of came out of nowhere. I was curious about it, but I really didn't have high hopes, but it really does something very special to your skin, especially if you have um, pores like I do. I have, well, we all have pores. Larger pores is what I meant to say. If you have larger pores around your um, cheeks or, or wherever, but that's where I have them. I actually have very large pores underneath my eyebrows and on my eyelids. Gross. Um, but I've been using it there and a little bit between my eyebrows, and it has been game-changing. So I really, really love this Milk Makeup Blur Stick Primer. My next favorite is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I really am so surprised at how beautiful a $5 foundation from the drugstore can look. I have, I'm wearing it today. I originally purchased Soft Beige, which is this color, and it was a little bit too dark, so I went ahead and purchased Shell Ivory, and I combined the two. I basically just put the darker color uh, sort of on my forehead and, well, the top half of my face, and then I put the lighter color on the bottom half of my face, where I am kind of naturally paler, and then I just sort of mix it as I'm applying it. Um, and it's been working out really, really well. I am, like I said, super impressed um, with this. It stays on all day. It doesn't crease. It has not kind of sunk into my lines. I've worn it probably up to like 12, 14 hours in a day. I am just, I am just loving it. I cannot recommend this enough. And even on days when I'm feeling dry, on days when I'm feeling more combo, it's beautiful. Worked out every single time. Love, love, love. My uh, my next favorite is a bronzer, and this is not new, but it is relatively new to me. It is the Gucci um, Indian Sand Bronzer. It's um, fairly warm, and I have it kind of all over my face and down here. I just love it. I love the texture. It goes on so smoothly. I feel like it blends out so nicely. Um, in my tutorial, I was talking about how you can just sort of keep working it in and it just sort of starts to blend and like meld into your skin. I just think it's it's lovely. And I like that it's a matte bronzer, so you know, you can put it on, not worry about too much glitter or shimmer that may be going on. And at first I thought maybe the shade was a little bit too warm for me, but I think it's, I don't know, I really like it. I like a warm bronze because I'm pale AF. I have also been loving a lot, <laughs> loving a lot, this blush from Tom Ford. This is Inhibition, and um, they came out with like a new blush, uh, what am I trying to say? A new blush formula, and um, it's very pigmented. There's a lot of kick up, but I love the pigmentation and how it blends on the skin and like this really beautiful like wash of color that it gives the cheeks. This particular color I think is just, would probably work on most skin types. Uh, this blush is very pigmented, so if you do decide to get this, just be aware of that. Maybe use a light hand with it, build it up slowly, but I do love this color, I do love this formula. I love that it is, um, that it's matte, again, that it just kind of is like a natural wash of color and it's like a great sort of everyday blush. So this little, this little guy has um, traveled with me quite a bit during the month of March. This is the Lila B B Stunning Eye Quad. Whew, this is good. It is, it's something I hauled I think earlier in February and you know the colors are so subtle and so natural and the formula blends 
so beautifully and it's just it's one of those I think it's so under the radar um, that I just I didn't use it I just didn't use it that often and then I don't know I started reaching for it and then I started reaching for it more and then I started packing it for my trips now I feel like I can't live without it and I have um, what colors do I have I have like the one matte color and this color, these two colors on my lid, I have the shimmer color sort of under my brow and at my inner corner. I just, I really love it. I think it works. I think for a beginner, this is an amazing quad because I think it's just, it's a great everyday sort of eye look that you get out of it. I think it blends really easily. I don't think you could kind of like make a mistake with it. I just think it's really lovely. So if you're in the market for a new eye quad and you're looking for something neutral, and this is really new and I hesitate putting this in my March favorites because I've only been using it for like less than a week but I am completely hooked and it's totally not a new product but it is the um, Inglot gel um, eyeliners people love these they rave about it I've always shied away from it because I thought oh that it just looks hard to apply it's in a pot I need a brush like I just want something that's like a pencil or just liquid eyeliner or something but this is a lot easier to apply than I thought and the fact that it doesn't move at all is so appealing to me because eyeliner for me for some reason I think you know I forget I have makeup on and I rub my eyes or do crazy stuff um, this doesn't budge at all it's a little bit tough to get off at night <laughs> I will admit but, you know, if you use like an oil-based cleanser, you just sort of leave it on and you gently kind of just like um, press it away, it'll come off. It's fine. Um, but I'm completely, completely obsessed with these now. And I just bought two more colors, like the matte black and one that's more of like a champagne color. This is like a metallic brown. I don't know if you can see it. This is like a metallic brown color. It's just freaking awesome. I just love it and this is sort of like an old favorite that I hadn't used in a while and now it's sort of re-emerged in my life and that's the Glossier boy brow it's the fastest way to do your brows if you don't need to do much filling in um, I just like to kind of just brush it up with my eyebrows it gives them just enough body nothing too crazy and if you kind of like gently drag the brush against your skin it does sort of lightly fill in your brows so I like that effect as well and I have it in two colors I have it in brown and black and if I'm feeling a little bit more high maintenance what I'll do is use the brown in the center here and then use black kind of on the tail of my brow to kind of give it uh, like a nice sort of from light to dark effect which which I think is very nice but I just have brown all over my brows today very simple and I think it just it gives your brows exactly what it needs it may not be Instagram ready but it's definitely like public ready love these I have this on my lips and these happen to be my favorites as well for the past month the this is upside down the buxom plump line lip liner in hush hush and the uh, Marc Jacobs Sheer Gel Nude Lipstick in Dream Girl, which is one of the newer colors. Um, don't let this name fool you. It says it's sheer. It is not. I find it to be fairly pigmented, but the gel formula is so comfortable. It is so, so moisturizing. It just sits on the lips beautifully. It doesn't move around. I mean, it's not transfer proof, but I think it's a wonderful lipstick. I love this formula. I have two others, in fact, um, which I think need to make a reappearance in my life. But I've been loving Dream Girl, and I've been loving this Buxom um, Hush Hush color. I love how big the pencil tip is. I mean, it you know, once you line your lips, almost half of your lips is like filled in already. And then this brush is is awesome if you want to kind of just like blend it in a little bit if you're sort of doing an ombre effect maybe you put like a lighter lip color on and then you can kind of blend the two together I really like um, I really like the idea of these these are really cool I have another color called undercover which I love as well and I'm thinking about purchasing more let me know if you have some favorite colors of these if you've purchased these as well and then last but certainly not least is the Tom Ford reflex guilt highlighter 
I feel like I don't need to say anything. There it is. No, I have the uh, I have the lighter color on my cheeks, on the bridge of my nose, sort of up here between my brows and a little bit on my chin. Um, I don't use the dark color as much, but I do use it uh, still if I kind of want a blush topper or kind of highlight or make this part of my cheek glisten a little bit more, I'll use the darker color. Um, sometimes I'll add it to like my eyes if I want a little shimmer, but I just think that this highlight is, is really, it's really pretty. I think it's, um, it just strikes the right note. It's not too subtle, it's not too crazy. Um, I like the finish that it has. It's like just short of looking like super wet. Um, but it's not too satiny where it's too sort of subtle. Anyway, I absolutely love it. So that is it for my monthly favorites. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any monthly favorites or you think I need to try something out, please let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear what your favorites are. I love to hear what your suggestions are. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of the products that I just mentioned. So let me know. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please subscribe below. And I will see you in my next video.